Hello, this is a presentation on a modular and composable approach to develop a trusted artificial intelligence. This work was conducted by myself, Dr. Michael Lankford, and Dr. Betty Chen at Michigan State University. This work is motivated by a need for trusted AI, and in particular to address issues of robustness and resiliency at runtime for AI systems. The US Department of Defense recognizes a need for ethical principles in AI, and have devised their own principles shown here, which are divided into five dimensions, equitability, traceability, reliability, governability, and responsibility. And other organizations have introduced their own similar trusted AI guidelines. So it's being established both in industry and in government that establishing trust is paramount for the widespread adoption of learning enabled autonomous systems. So this work is interested in uh, developing a modular and composable solution for this trusted AI problem because there are multiple dimensions of uncertainty to consider. And most solutions proposed today are monolithic in nature, making them hard to scale and maintain and implement in real world systems. So we need a more composable solution just from a software engineering point of view. So that's the key question for our research is how can we develop a more composable trusted AI framework that's both goal oriented and reusable? So what are our assurance concerns? Well, as stated before, the DOD has proposed their own AI ethic principles, but many other organizations have proposed their own trusted AI guidelines. And although there are a lot of commonalities between these guidelines, each organization has their own unique interpretation of what trusted AI really is. So how do we design systems to maintain these properties when deployed in the real world? Ideally, we'll have a system that can factor the more general trusted AI concerns, but also we'll have a system that is customizable and tweakable to fit the needs of each organization and mission. And there has been significant progress in recent research to address issues such as robustness and uncertainty in artificial intelligence systems, particularly in deep neural networks. Um, but many of these techniques are monolithic in nature. They're tightly coupled and fine-tuned to a specific learning model or problem. Uh, approaches such as data augmentation, adversarial training, and uncertainty quantification have addressed many of the issues we've had with robustness and uncertainty, but they are targeted to a specific type of application or type of problem. And these approaches can be difficult to scale and challenging to integrate into a variety of architectures and real world systems. So these approaches typically, any change to the system or environment would require uh, the learning model to completely retrained, updated, and replaced entirely. Or if there's a, a new assurance concern discovered post hoc, then also the learning model would need to be retrained and uh, updates, updated or replaced entirely. So this is not very good software engineering. I mean, experience tells us from software engineering that we should design our systems to support modularity and reusability. So ideally we would have some sort of base learning model. And as new assurance concerns arise, we can simply add on new layers or modules, such as say that we have a, a base learning model and we discover it has issues with rainy environments, where we could just add on a rain enhancement or a fog enhancement for fog or a snow enhancement for snowy environments, etc. We want to be able to have a base solution that is modular and customizable to address new concerns as they arise without having to rebuild the whole system. So ideally, we want some kind of loosely coupled architecture to facilitate this form of reuse and integration um, across a variety of, of platforms. And for our research, we've been developing exactly this type of framework. We call it the Anunnaki framework, and it comprises a collection of three key services for trusted AI. The first of those services is Enlil. Enlil acts as a sort of adversarial detector. It uses evolutionary-based search methods and simulation to automatically assess how your learning-enabled component will respond to different types of adversarial noise or environmental um, phenomena at runtime, such as rain, fog, etc. So the idea is like, for instance, if I don't know how my AI system will operate in rainy environments, I can use Enlil to simulate rain and automatically assess how the system responds to different types of rain. And using the simulated information, it can generate a behavior model, which we call a behavior oracle. And these behavior oracles can be used at runtime to predict the behavior of your neural network or your AI system um, and predict how it will behave for any given instance of that environmental interference. So if I don't know how my system responds at, like in the current rainy conditions, I can use my behavior oracle to automatically predict its behavior and determine whether or not it should be trusted for use in the present environmental condition. 
A second service we've been uh, we've proposed and introduced is named Inky. Inky is basically a service to help us create robustified models. And the idea is that Inky also uses evolutionary based search, but instead of creating a behavior model, it's creating um, or uncovering different unique instances of an environmental interference or adversarial noise. And the idea is that we're trying to create diverse types of interference. And they're not diverse in the way they appear, but di they're diverse in the way that your system responds to them. So we basically create a, a set of operating conditions or training conditions that stress your system in very different ways. And this could be useful for uh, training a new alternative model that's robustified for a specific type of environmental interference. So for instance, if I want to create a model that's more robust to rain, I can use Inky to generate different forms of rain in uh, terms of how your system responds to those types of rain. And using this uh, type of process, we can create a robustified model targeted specifically to rain. Again, we're not trying to make, create one model that's robust to all forms of, of environmental noise. Uh, we're not trying to create a, one model that fits all needs, but we can create robustified alternative models for specific types of interference. Ideally, we want a whole collection of models to address a whole set of, of types of interference and uh, use some kind of context aware switcher to determine which model should be used at runtime. And so that brings us to our final service, UTU, which is a goal model driven autonomic manager. Uh, basically, as an autonomic manager, it's a process responsible for both monitoring um, the present runtime condition and also reconfiguring your system to uh, best operate in the current runtime condition. And it does by, this by evaluating goal models, which are basically uh, a high level uh, description of what your goals and requirements are for your system. UTU can continuously monitor these requirements, the system requirements, and also the current runtime state of your system to determine if those requirements are being met at runtime. And if they're not being met, it can also reconfigure the system to meet those requirements. So this UTU can dynamically integrate with existing autonomous platforms and reconfigure their use of their learning enabled components based on the, the present uh, runtime environment and what the stated requirements are. These, all these, these three key services operate together within the Anunnaki framework as a loosely coupled service-oriented architecture for the autonomic reconfiguration of LACs, which I'll describe in the next slide. This slide depicts a data flow diagram of the Anunnaki framework. To begin with, we'll describe the NOIL processes. Again, NOIL is responsible for producing a behavior oracle for adversarial detection. This begins with a model inference step where we take in real world data and use a simulator to introduce an unknown form of environmental uh, interference, such as rain. Using a simulator to assess how our, our learning enabled component will respond to rain or whatever environmental interference we're simulating, we can create a behavior oracle that can be used for adversarial detection. The adversarial detector takes in sensor data at runtime from a managed learning enabled system to uh, feed it to the behavior oracle and predict the behavior to determine how our system or our learning enabled components will respond to the present runtime environment. Next, the Inky processes are responsible for pr producing robustified alternatives of our learning enabled component. It does this through a form of adversarial training where we introduce synthetic forms of the environmental interference to create a robustified model targeted to a specific form of interference. So we can create a robustified model for rain, then we can create another robustified model for snow and another for fog, et cetera, for every environmental inf interference we discover that is not included in our real world data. And then we feed all these alternative models into a learning model manager that can switch between the models based on the current uh, system and runtime environment. So if it's determined that it's a rainy environment, we can switch to our, our robustified rainy model. And if it's determined that it's a snowy environment, we can switch to our snowy model. And if the environment is not snowy or rainy, we can just use our basic default model. Finally, we'll describe the UTU steps or processes. Again, UTU is a, an automatic manager that both uh, uh, monitors the runtime environment, but also evaluates and assesses the runtime environment um, with respect to goal models. So 
Goal models and adaptation tactics are given to the UTU autonomic manager, and then the autonomic manager monitors the runtime environment of the, the system, and then analyzes the goal model with respect to that runtime environment, and then it determines whether or not requirements are being met. If requirements are being violated, then it plans for a reconfiguration based on the given adaptation tactics, and then executes a reconfiguration. This reconfiguration could be to implement some user-defined fail-safe mode, or it can be to switch to an alternative robustified model using the uh, learning model manager. To demonstrate, we've implemented the Anunnaki framework on a ROS-based autonomous rover, where ROS is a robot operating system, and the rover is tasked with exploring an environment using ultrasonic sensors, but also a forward-facing camera um, with a vision-based object detector that uses a deep neural network. So the question is whether or not we can actually trust this object detector at runtime in uncertain environments. And so for this purpose, we have included a digital twin for simulation using um, Gazebo, the Gazebo simulator, uh, which integrates with ROS. And to evaluate the performance of our neural network, um, we've evaluated uh, the precision and recall and F1 scores against uh, independently and identically distributed data, test data. Um, and we found that we have a F score that's 96.8%. So that seems pretty good, but that really doesn't tell us how it's going to run at runtime when we encounter situations that are different from what we've collected in our current data set. So we know that the rover is really good. The object detector works well in environments similar to training conditions, but I mean, how robust is a rover to adverse sliding, for instance, or other uh, types of environmental interference? Like, we really don't know how robust it is. So we actually find that it's not very robust to lighting when we play around with the lighting. Uh, if we manually adjust the lighting, um, we can suddenly start misdetecting or detecting false positives. So we know that it's not robust to lighting. Um, so the next question is like, how can we mitigate the impact of these types of misdetections? Um, I mean, the, the naive, uh, obvious solution would be to add more data, uh, introduce uh, data with alternative lighting schemes. But you can't keep doing this sort of whack-a-mole thing. Um, we actually need mechanisms. Even if I robustify my neural network, I need a mechanism that will tell me um, the performance boundaries and thresholds of even my robustified neural network. You're always going to have some sort of uh, threshold where your system stops operating and can't handle um, the current condition. So. Uh, this is where the Anunnaki framework comes uh, into hand. What the Anunnaki framework provides is the ability to automatically at runtime evaluate the current runtime conditions and your behavior oracles to determine whether or not the behaviors of your learning able components satisfy your current goals and runtime um, system requirements. And so during, uh, basically the idea is that if your goal model is satisfied, it's a safe condition, if your goal model is determined to be unsatisfied, it's an unsafe condition. And the Anunnaki framework triggers fail-safe adaptations when an unsafe condition is detected. So to demonstrate here, we have a short video where our, uh, where our rover is running uh, at runtime autonomously, and we introduce a smudge or raindrop onto the, the, the camera. And as, whenever the raindrop is detected to be present, and the behavior oracle determines that we can't operate safely with this raindrop here, we switch to manual mode. As raindrop goes away, we switch back to autonomous mode. So the Anunnaki framework is able to run in parallel, automatically assess the current runtime condition with, and the, predict the behavior of our learning enabled component to determine whether or not it can be uh, safely operated in autonomous mode. And if not, it will, it will trigger an, a reconfiguration to tell the system to switch to manual mode. In summary, Trusted AI is a multidimensional problem where we need to identify general assurance concerns, but we also need to tailor the concerns to mission objectives and organizational needs. We need to recognize that requirements will change. We can't predict everything at design time. And we need to, for this reason, encourage designs that are more modular and composable. The Anunnaki framework has been proposed to modularize these assurance concerns. It enables runtime monitor control with respect to high-level goal models, and it runs in parallel, loosely coupled with autonomous systems. And we've also implemented a proof of concept uh, system for ROS-based autonomous platforms to demonstrate its use. For future work, we're looking to investigate the impact of changing and conflicting requirements 
on the Anunnaki framework. We're looking to evaluate the effectiveness and timing of the Anunnaki framework in dynamic environments. And we'd like to include additional assurance cases, such as uh, cybersecurity uh, assurance cases, in addition in, to the functional uh, requirements that we already have implemented. With that, uh, this concludes my presentation, and thank you for listening.